Hello one and all and a warm welcome back to the Brucey Dortmund FM19 beta save with me, Fruball FM. Today we're going to start with the dynamics because there's quite a few unhappy players in the squad. Right then, so there are currently five players unhappy at the club. Um, Shinji Kagawa wants a, a chance in the first team, which is fair enough, and I, I promised him some more first team football because he's, he's a really good player, which he has been getting, so hopefully that, that shouldn't last for too long. Marvin Hitz is finding it difficult set to settle in the area, which I find difficult to believe considering the fact that he's played in Germany for pretty much all of his career um, and I'm not sure how far away from, from Dortmund Augsburg is where he was previously. Um, I know that Dortmund's in the um, in the west of Germany, sort of midwest um, Germany. I'm not sure about Augsburg and I'm also not sure about Wolfsburg. I'm pretty sure Wolf Wolfsburg in the north so it shouldn't be that too far away um, but I'm not sure about Augsburg but still I mean finding it difficult to set in the area I mean it, it, it's Germany at the end of the day isn't it? Rafael Guerrero wants to move to a bigger club and what we've said is um, that if a bid comes in of £33 million or more then we'll let him go. £33 million for, for a left back is, is pretty awesome to be honest, we'll be able to replace him with that I'm pretty sure. Marius Wolf has basically just been a little bitch and he's just wanting to, to go for first team football despite only having joined the club um, sort of uh, in, in the summer transfer window. He's already played a game, he's played in the cup. Um, he's just he's just whining a little bit and I, I can't afford to give him the game time because he's just not good enough and he doesn't really fit into the way that we play. I didn't try to tell him that he doesn't fit into the way that we play but he just started arguing back saying uh, I could make you, um, I could fit into this tactic, I'm pretty sure I could. But yeah, Marius Wolf's gone in January, you can guarantee that. And uh, Mahmoud Dahoud is also asking to leave and he wants a chance in the first team. Um, we've got four, people, four players who disagree with him and two who agree with him so he's causing a little bit of a fuss. But um, you know, again, he's another player. We've got a lot of central midfield midfield players, um, and it's, you know, three advanced playmakers really in Goethe, Kagawa, and Dahoud. And Dahoud's at the bottom of that pile, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, a little bit of an unhappy team at the minute. But uh, back to business. And uh, after the Augsburg game, we drew away against Stuttgart. Um, I am absolutely sick of getting FM'd already. Basically, um, it was one-one. But um, if you take a look at the match stats. Stuttgart, uh, one shot on target, scored it, and it was in the 85th minute. Um, so, yeah, we only scored for penalty, which, which Marco Royce put away. But once again, Paco Alcacer was rubbish. Shinji Kagawa wasn't very good, and uh, we're just not putting away chances when we're making them. Now, this was a really important game, boys, and if you remember, we had to win this really to keep our, our hopes alive. It was an absolutely crazy game. Um, it was nil-nil up until the 91st minute when Hen Henry Onyekuru, I think might be on loan from Everton, he is... Um, when Henry Onyekuru got a 91st minute winner, I thought that's it, that's our Champions League dream over. But then Axel Witzel pulled one back in the 92nd minute, and then I thought, right, a draw, we're still in it, we're still in with a chance here. And then Maximilian Philipp scored in the 96th minute, despite there only being 94. Uh, uh, four, four minutes of added time. I would have been absolutely raging if I was Galatasaray, but we managed to pull. Uh, Pull, pull off the win uh, somehow and now we're in with a real chance of, uh, of qualifying for the next round. If we can beat Galatasaray again today, then we're in with a real, real chance. Following that that marvellous, marvellous victory in Turkey, uh, we actually got our first clean sheet of the season, our first league clean sheet of the season rather, um, with a 1-0 win over uh, our Bundesliga rivals Hertha Berlin um, and uh, it was a 1-0 a win I think it was fairly comfortable in the end but they didn't really um, cause us too many problems then we played them again in the cup and uh, yeah, as you can see we're out of the, the, the Defal Bay Pokal for this season but um, it was 1-1 uh, on the night and uh, the penalty shootout we were absolutely awful need more be said about that after our exit in the, the Pokal uh, we played against uh, Wolfsburg uh, VVL Wolfsburg to be precise and um, it was at the Volkswagen Arena packed out stadium and uh, Maximilian Philipp got himself a brace after we went behind we find ourselves going behind far too often this season um, and then we only really come out of our shell after half time but uh, Maximilian Philipp got himself a brace which I was really pleased with we're picking up a lot of injuries at the minute I think it was the uh, yeah the Galatasaray game where we picked up three knocks whereby Goethe, Pulisic and Dahoud all got injured so so, um, yeah, I think injuries might be a little bit of a bug this year. Um, I don't know how other people feel about it. Um, th they are very, very frequent, and, and some of them can be quite long as well. I mean, obviously, Schmelzer got that, that big injury, and Traore has been injured himself as well. So, um, quite a lot of injuries. I think maybe I need to alter my training, actually, to be honest. Right then, so today we've got two massive games against uh, one against Galatasaray, which our Champions League uh, hopes rest on. And you can see this is the Champions League group. Uh, we're on four points there on six. 
uh, and ultimately what it what it's going to boil down to is this game against uh, Galatasaray I feel if we win the game we'll be on seven points and they'll be on six so we'll we'll be ahead of them then we need to beat Ludogorets and assume that Barcelona will beat Galatasaray at home um, you can although they did they did lose to them away but I can't see Galatasaray beating them at um, you know at, at home and if they draw then we'll be on the same points but we'll have a better head-to-head -head record if we beat Galatasaray today which is the main thing and we're going to play the home Bundesliga clash against FC Bayern Munich um, now Bayern are uh, having a, a pretty good season as you would probably imagine they are T take a look at the Bundesliga after um, after our results and we're doing all right we're doing all right we're still unbeaten in the league there's three teams still unbeaten um, it's just that Bayern and Leipzig um, uh, have, uh, have managed to win a couple of their games that we we actually drew so um, I think with a couple more with a bit more luck we could be actually on the same points if not better than, than Bayern and Leipzig to be honest just taking a quick look at the stats and I didn't really think we'd score that many goals to be honest but uh, we're, the, we're the second top scorers in the league and and what he's really telling is that Leipzig have scored 29 goals so far which is 12 more than anybody else in the league it's almost double the amount of goals that anybody else has scored so you're right up there on the top of uh, average possession though which the Tiki Taka style demands anyway enough of that rubbish and into the game against Galatasaray today we're going to select the team and um, there might be a few uh, selection issues here uh, with, with players being tired and what have you uh, Maximilian Philippe is definitely going to retain his place because uh, he, 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 what's his name um, Paco Alcacer has just not impressed me when he's coming so Rojo is going to start at the back uh, Toprak's currently injured Hakimi's injured uh, Schmelz is injured Dahoud's injured this was saying we've got a little bit of an injury crisis going on um, and uh, Shinji Kaga was very tired as well so um, our team's looking tired but it's looking like we're probably this is the team we're probably going to have to go with Akanji and Guerrero are getting very tired and uh, they are in need of a rest so they're not going to actually play today um, and we might actually bring in some some youngsters from the under under 19s or, or second squad right then so we have brought in Luca Unbahan um, a young goalkeeper with quite a bit of potential looks very very good uh, you can see for, for a 17 year old goalkeeper he looks excellent also brought in this guy Ramsey Fayani to come in uh, as a substitute he's still on a youth contract but his, his mentals are very good for his age um, his head could do with a bit of a bit of work but um, his physicals are okay uh, but he's going to be okay as a, as, a, as, a, as a substitute essentially right let's get into the game it's been far too long uh, we need to give squad numbers to these guys right then so they match us formation wise uh, there's Henry Onyekuru who uh, scored past us in the first leg um, of this tie well not the first leg but the first match of this tie so we need to watch out for him passionately say uh, let's give the fans a performance they expected of us here uh, and get into the tunnel um, right then so we come on we do come out for the, the start of this game and uh, the uh, the Signal Iduna Park is looking very nice in the Champions League Glean, Glean, Glean's not a word but it means yeah it means to like collect information right down the line for Jaden Sancho Sancho now Sancho comes inside, drifts past, and uh, Muslera picks that one up. Dribbling's a lot better on this year's football manager, I find. 17 minutes in, and uh, our first highlight, Vitzel, uh, gives it away, and he's on Onyekuru, Henry Onyekuru, Gary Rodriguez now. Gary Rodriguez from the left-hand side. There's Emre Akbaba, and we're 1-0 down against Galatasaray after 17 minutes, and it's not ideal at all. See, then Onyekuru, I mean, I don't know what Piszczek's doing turning his back to the ball there. He needs to be going marking his man, which doesn't he doesn't do enough to stop the cross coming in. Um, and there's uh, Emre Akbaba at the back of Abdu Diallo, um, who just quite quite honestly does nothing to stop him scoring there. Going to demand more because we're just not not engaging in this game well enough. And I'm, it, again, we've gone behind, and it's going to get to half-time. I'm going to have to tell them to... to Book the ideas up. We've hit the crossbar. Marcus Rojo has hit the crossbar, and that's just our look. Another highlight, uh, half an hour in, Axel Witzel to Tolianu to the back post, but uh, Muslera is able to collect very easily. Uh, we don't seem to. Oh, he's giving it away. Philip, Maximilian Philip. <laughs> What's happened there, boys? Uh, I don't know that, it, that it hasn't been ruled out, or has it been ruled out? No, it hasn't been ruled. I thought it maybe been ruled out for a foul there on Muslera, but he went to roll it out. I've never seen this before on Football Manager. This is a new thing, which is which is cool. Rolled it straight against Maximilian Philip, and he had the goal at his mercy. It said there at the bottom, and he, he managed to slot it away. Right, one one. Come on, boys. We need to win this game now. We need to press on and uh, and win the game. And uh, we are starting to claw back possession, but Axel Witzel's now picked up an injury, and this is not what we need. Uh, we're going to bring on Julian Weigel, which isn't too much of a. Um, a bad thing really considering that he's he's, uh, he's a very good player right, so we're going at, at half time at 1-1 and uh, it hasn't been a good half 
Um, we've restricted them to two shots. The one shot on target was a pretty clear good chance. Um, so we need to really press on in the second half and start to claw back a lot of that possession. That's not been what we've been like this season. So hopefully we can we can rectify that in the second half. I'm going to say I'm not happy with the performance and, and hopefully that will motivate them to go out into the second half and, and get a winner. We do seem to have come out of the second half firing a little bit, um, which always does seem to happen. Uh, but we are going to get um, potentially some substitutes on because... We're just not. We're just not doing anything. We're not. Um, the the time's just ticked away in the second half, um, and we potentially need to get some more um, firepower up there. Um, I, there's nothing really. We, can, we haven't really got much on the bench to, to change the course of the game. I mean, Paco Alcacer could come on, but he's been absolutely dreadful in, in the games that he's played for us. Um, Rafael Guerrero is the only choice, but he's he's very very tired, um, and he and he does need a rest. He's at increased risk of injury. Jeremy Tollian's on a yellow card, though. So I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get Rafael Guerrero on. I'm going to highlight then to 71 minutes. But it, it looks like it might go to, to Galatasaray. But we've cut that ball out. Here's Traore. Can we count it? It's uh, Bertrand Traore. Skips away from his man. Can he play a Philip through? Traore goes all the way. Crosses in. Back post. Philip! Yes, Maximilian Philip gets a brace. He's been in excellent form. He's got himself another two goals. This is exactly what we need, boys. See, Traore just came forward with it, dribbled past everyone. Lovely little clip to the back post. There was Philip with the header, and uh, the goalkeeper got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. 2-1 to Dortmund. And we need to be really careful now how we approach this game um, and, and to keep hold of the lead. But it looks like we're coming forward again. Philip with a nice little turn and uh, pass back to, to Julian Weigl. He's good to Delaney. Traore heads on. Oh, he's missed. The defender's missed it. Philip Maximilian Philip has profit, profited from two mistakes in this game from Galatasaray, and he's got himself another goal. It's his seventh goal of the season. The strikers just weren't scoring, but Maximilian Philip has picked up his game, and the, he's essentially won this game for us single-handedly. I mean, Traore has been a massive part of that. It's another assist for him, and uh, it was a poor piece of defending. Maximilian Philip doesn't care. He's just slotted it away and ran away, wheeling away in celebration. 3-1, hopefully that'll settle it now and we've got a massive chance now of qualifying for the, the second round, which, to be honest, I didn't think this group would be that hard. Another chance. Philip, he's not going to get four. Sancho, he's hit the post. <laughs> I'm just going to make one last substitution. I'm going to get Jaden Sancho off so he didn't get himself injured and bring, um, not Ramsey for Yanni on. We're going to actually bring on Marius Wolf. Uh, in the inside forward channel and get back into the game. Highlight after 85, hopefully that um, Galatasaray can't put some pressure on us here, but uh, Marius Wolf now um, gives it away. Ooh, Guerrero, what a tackle that was. That was a bit uh, risque. Uh, Diallo, Marcus Rojo's having to play a bit more than I would have liked him to because of his um, because of uh, Manuel Akanji's need, need for a rest. Uh, but Rojo does play it back to, to Buaki and we're keeping the ball nicely here. What can we do with it? Rojo. Just carry it forward, Rojo. There we go. Wolf. Delaney. It's cut out by Badu and Dai, the former Stoke man. Eren, is that Dirty Ock yet? And Gary Rodriguez is offside and it won't count. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, that is that is tight. That is the definition of tight. It does look like we're going to see out the game now. 30 seconds left as Galatasaray come forward. Mike on the centre back trade up there. Emre back to Mike on. And uh, surely we can see this out now. It's good uh, Harry in there from uh, whoever that was. Muslera bashes it up the pitch. I think it's maybe Goethe. Serdar. Pizzek cuts that out, plays it to Delaney, and it's nice and composed. No, it was Weigel, actually, who was doing that. So that's we have managed to see the game out, and it, it's 3-1. It's a fantastic result, really. It's exactly what we needed, um, and Maximilian Philip with a hat-trick with some assistance from Bertrand Traore, so I'm really happy with that. Very pleased with the result and the performance. Let's get on with it. Right, then, you can so you can see this is where that leaves us. Um, we've only scored five goals in the Champions League, and, and uh, you know, uh, five of them, all five of them, have been against Galatasaray, which is quite funny. But uh, you know, yeah, so you can see we are we, we've got a superior head-to-head -head record now over Galatasaray, which is crucial. Um, we need to win this next game against uh, against Ludogorets. I think our next game might be against Barcelona, actually, and then the final one will be against Ludogorets. But um, we also need Barcelona to do us a favour and beat Galatasaray. To be honest, it's okay if they draw, but um, we need them to beat them really. Then Maximilian Philip got himself four goals over two matches against Galatasaray, which is magnificent. So Bitzel's injured for two to four weeks, um, which is injured innocuously, a pulled calf muscle. Going to have to leave that to the physio. We've got a massive, massive... Um, Rafael Guerrero and Brett Bertrand Traore are now rest, um, need a rest. But um, we've got massive injury problems going into this game against Bayern. Um, we're going to praise Maximilian Philip's performance. He's superb in front of goal. Keep it up. Uh, he appreciates it. And let's get into the game against Bayern with a massively depleted squad. Okay, so we are back for the Bayern game. It's uh, known as Der Klassiker in Germany, Dortmund v Bayern. So um, the team we're going to go with today is uh, Lukas Piszczek at right wing-back, uh, Rafael Guerrero at left wing-back, Abdul Diallo and Manuel Akanji in the, the centre, 
Thomas Delaney, Julian Weigel, and Shinji Kagawa as the midfield three. Marco Royce, Bertrand Traore, and uh, Maximilian Philippe as the front three. Marco Royce is just back from injury, and um, the fitness tests suggest that he, 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 only, he can only manage a maximum of 75 minutes. But we have got Pulisic and Sancho on the bench who can come in. We've also got Goethe and Alcacer. So our bench is looking pretty strong. Let's get into this game against Bayern. Right, well, I mean, that's a scary team, isn't it? It's the, the same formation as us, except they've got, you know, Neuer, Hummels, Boateng, Alaba, Kimmich. Tolisso, Thiago, James Rodriguez, Thomas Muller, Robert Lewandowski. They haven't even got. They've got Tony Rudiger on the bench, which is interesting. Kingsley Coman. They haven't even got um, Ian Robin in there either. And I'm assuming he's probably injured with the amount of injuries on this game and his record. Uh, Nicholas Schulo on the bench, um, but uh, it just looks a very scary team. But um, let's see what we can do against them. Is is the only thing we can do. Right then, so let's give the fans a good performance. It's a derby, so they should like it and uh, they seem to have gained confidence. Let's get into the game, boys. The two teams line up. This massive Bundesliga clash, or Dia Classica as it's known, um, and uh, I still haven't managed to. Uh, I still haven't managed to identify where the yellow wall is, which is quite concerning. Okay, so 15 minutes in, got a free kick. Akanji's there, and it's saved by Manuel Neuer. Uh, Akanji was offside anyway. 20 minutes and there's not been a shot in anger. Marco Royce will take a free kick. Royce, and it's a good save from Manuel Neuer. Royce will take the resultant corner. Whips it in, but it's, he can't beat the first man and Hummels away. Thomas Delaney, Royce again. Marco Royce got some space. That's a terrible pass. And now Bayern can counter, can they? James Rodriguez. Thomas Muller. So that highlight faded away with, with no real warning, didn't it? Again, so we are really nullifying the game here. It's a, it's a very boring game so far, considering it's a day classic and nothing really happened. James Rodriguez with a free kick, and it's in the back of the net. <sighs> of all things to concede from against Bayern Munich, the wall didn't seem to do its job. The goalkeeper, I don't know what he was doing, because that's his side. Just went round the wall. It's far too central that the goalkeeper should be saving that, and, and that's really poor from from Roman Buki. Okay, so half time, it, it's one 0 to Bayern Munich. It's been a very very poor game in truth. Uh, that one free kick from Hamas Rodriguez has been the undoing factor in the end. We've been very unlucky, and I'm quite annoyed about that to be honest. I'm going to get aggressive and say I expect to see a much better showing because from both sides, really, I think it's imperative that we get some decent football for once. Considering the quality in both sides here, you know, the, the likes of Bayern Munich squad, it's absolutely insane. And uh, both sides have been too poor to, to, to talk about, really. 59 minutes gone. We are going to get Marco Royce off. He's looking very tired. He's doing nothing in this game. They're uh, going to get uh, Jaden Sancho on as the inside forward on that side. Hopefully, he can, can get us a goal and get us back into the game. Going to demand more 70 minutes. We've still not had a highlight. Uh, the only highlight that we've had in this entire game. And Manuel Akanji's injured. What a surprise. Marcus Rojo is going to have to come on now. Um, for for him, um, so Rojo and Dilo now in the centre back roles. We've got free kick Guerrero, back post Lewandowski heads away, and I assume that Bayern Munich are now going to counter from this. James Rodriguez just uh, absolutely lumps it up the pitch. Uh, a bit of confusion there between Buki and uh, Piszczek. What's Buki doing? Oh no, no. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> What can you do? What can you actually do to stop that from happening? What can you do? You can't do anything. That's absolutely ridiculous. 2-0 down and absolutely do not deserve to be 2-0 down. And Jaden Sancho's now got injured. This is so frustrating. Bloody Paco Alcacer is coming on as a last resort. I'm not even going to take Jaden Sancho off. He's injured. I don't care. I don't bloody care anymore. Highlight after 87 minutes and it's, it's been a really poor game. I'm just absolutely incensed that Bayern Munich have found themselves 2-0 up in this game. We've absolutely gifted it to them. Um, and it's been two errors from, from Roman Buki, but we, we might have a chance here. It's, uh, Shinji Kagawa now in the midfield. Uh, Diallo gives it away poorly. Kagawa now, though. Traore tackled again, and uh, that looked a foul to me, referee. Diallo's done really well there. He's come right through Ribéry, um, but Bayern Munich can continue to come forward. He's Thomas Muller. He just needs to pull it back. Diallo with an excellent interception, but uh, Kimmich now on the right-hand side. Crosses in, back post, there's Ribéry, it's 3-0, and it's absolutely ridiculous that they're 3-0 up in this game, it's, it's unbelievable. So it looks as though our unbeaten run is coming to an end, which is, which is a shame, but I'm, I'm just I'm more upset about the fact that it's um, it's come to an end in this fashion. It's just It seems that, that Bayern Munich have just got away with absolute murder here, um, and it's just, it's just uh, you know, this is a, it's not even an FM, and because the, the game's been really even, but that's what makes it more annoying. The fact that the game's been even, yet yet they've come out 3-0 winners, it's absolutely ridiculous. The little commentary thing on the bottom as well has just, has just added fuel to my fire. Um, it's just said that uh, Bayern Munich run out clear and deserved winners. Look at the stats. How does that say that they're clear and deserved winners? It, it doesn't. 
I don't know what football planet you're living on if you think that that's clear and deserved. I'm going to say the performance was disappointing, even though it wasn't. Um, it was just one of those days, actually, and they, they all look re relaxed and motivated, which is pretty realistic because it was just one of those days. There's not much you can do when things like that go against you, is there? Right, and so now Manuel Akanji is injured for three to five weeks. It's, this is getting ridiculous. I've changed the trade and it hasn't made an inch of difference, so um, I don't really know what, what you do about that. Jaden Sancho was out for a day. There's fitness, player fitness, fitness concerns, because there's fitness concerns all the bloody time, isn't there? Right, so after that massively infuriating game, uh, we are going to come back for the Ludogorets game in the Champions League next. I think that's the most important game. The result against Barcelona is probably going to be um, a bit of a, a bit of a non-event, really. Um, I think, but we still need to probably uh, if we pick something up there, I can see us qualifying. This is how the Bundesliga table looks after eleven games, and uh, Bayern Munich are now seven points ahead. I can see them sort of going on to win the win the title. Although Leipzig are going to apply some pressure, they've got a game in hand and could go ahead in them on goal difference. So it's looking very tight up there. I think you know top four is the priority. We're not going to win the league this season, I don't think. I don't think we're strong enough. We need a, a, a more in-depth squad. Um, but although we have got decent deep um, squad depth, it's just that they all keep getting injured. So I will show up about the injuries eventually, I, I promise. But it's just been really massively infuriating in this episode. So, you know, that, that's why I'm, I'm buying on about them, to be honest. And it's not looking great, to be honest. We've got Mines uh, away who are third. Uh, so that's going to be a really tough game. And then we've got Schalke away. I mean, I know they're in 10th, but it's Schalke at the end of the day. And I think it might actually be a derby. Um, between Schalke and Dortmund. So that, that'll be another really tough game before we come back um, for the Ludogorets game. So I will see you then. Uh, thanks everybody for watching now. I know it's been a little bit of a, 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 an infuriating episode for me. I know that. that but um, if you could drop a like, comment or subscribe, I would be most humbled. Thanks everyone again for watching now. Bye-bye.